ever wondered why ensemble learning methods hold such a pivotal place in machine learning? Today we delve into the fascinating world of ensemble learning, a methodology that leverages the power of multiple learning algorithms to obtain better predictive performance. Imagine a team of experts, each with their unique perspective and expertise, working together to solve a complex problem. That, in essence, is the concept of ensemble learning. It combines different machine learning algorithms or the same algorithm multiple times to make more accurate predictions. Let's take a look at some of the most popular ensemble learning methods. Bagging, boosting and stacking are three techniques that are frequently used. Bagging or bootstrap aggregating is a method where multiple subsets of the original data are created using a process called bootstrapping. Each subset is then used to train a separate model. The final prediction is an average of the predictions made by each model. Bagging is particularly effective in reducing variance and preventing overfitting. Boosting, on the other hand, works in a sequential manner. It starts by training a model on the entire data set. Then it creates a second model that focuses on accurately predicting the instances where the first model performed poorly. This process continues, creating a sequence of models that work together to make the final prediction. Boosting is a powerful technique that can significantly improve accuracy, but it also has a higher risk of overfitting compared to bagging. Stacking or stacked generalization is a bit more complex. It involves training multiple different models on the same data set. Then a second level model called a meta learner is trained to make the final prediction based on the predictions of the first level models. Stacking can yield excellent results, but it requires careful tuning to avoid overfitting. So which method is the best? Well, the answer isn't that straightforward. Each method has its strengths and weaknesses, and the best choice depends on the specific problem at hand. Bagging is great for reducing variance. Boosting can dramatically improve accuracy, and stacking allows for the combination of different types of models. That said, ensemble learning isn't a magic bullet. It can improve predictive performance, but it also has its limitations. Ensemble methods can be computationally expensive, and they can also be more difficult to interpret compared to single models. In conclusion, ensemble learning is a powerful tool in machine learning. By leveraging the strengths of multiple models, it can help achieve better predictive performance than any single model could do on its own. But like any tool, it's not without its challenges. It requires careful implementation and thoughtful consideration of the trade-offs involved. So, the next time you're faced with a complex machine learning problem, remember the power of the ensemble. It might just be the key to unlocking new levels of accuracy and performance. That's it for today's exploration of ensemble learning methods. Stay curious and keep exploring.